What's up, guys? How you all doing? Hey, welcome to another Maker Monday. Today, we're going to be checking out some uh, different things on Reddit, as we usually do, as well as we're going to be checking out who our contest winner is going to be. All right. So uh, I want to stay tuned till the end of the video. I'm going to reveal it. Yes, I know this video is going to be pretty quick, though, uh, so you won't have to wait too awfully long to see who's going to win the Zemi Smart uh, basically smart light dimmer and the Zemi smart, uh, down light, uh, system. So we're going to be graph giving away both of these special thanks real quick to our pals at Zemi smart for sending me these wonderful things. If you haven't checked out the other video, I'll put a card or something up, uh, to check out the video where I reviewed, uh, the down light and a light bulb. I did not review the dimmer. I figured I'd leave that to you guys to figure out, but if you have any questions, definitely, uh, hit me up in the comments down below. Now, without any further ado, let's check out some of the cool things. This is what I usually do. I've kind of re done the format of Maker Monday. I usually post different things on Reddit that I find are interesting. And then I kind of, at least throughout the week, I try to post at least once a day. I've been kind of slacking here lately. Those of you that follow me, you know. And uh, I talk about them here on our Maker Monday. And if you would like to have one of your uh, projects or whatever showcased on Maker Monday, definitely check the link out down below to my reddit channel and post to my reddit page uh basically as long as it's clean and non-offensive uh pretty much anything goes you can post your projects you can post your project videos i really don't care and it will get showcased right here on maker monday all right so let's jump into it first thing that i thought was really cool i'm sure you're watching it uh run in the background was this through hole soldering machine i mean isn't that just like delightful to watch do its thing I mean, look at that. Look at that. No solder bridges, no nothing. I I've never seen that before. It's actually pretty cool. So it's like it's like it's like a picker place or like a not picker place, but like a uh, you know what I'm talking about you know like the wave soldering machines or whatever they are, um, where you run it through the oven and it does it. But that's for surface mount. This is for through hole. That's so cool. That little blob that shows you how solder tension solder tension is a cool thing. All right, moving on. So we got light matrixes. This guy actually built this himself. That has to be a lot of soldering. Uh, and he basically designed the whole thing and built it with 74HC595 drivers. Those of you may remember from the days of old uh, in the channel, I uh, showed how to do those uh, 74HC595s. Those of you that may not have seen those videos or think that we should kind of break out some of those old videos, let me know down in the comments. Let me know on Twitter. Let me know on Facebook. If you'd like to see some of those old videos maybe revisited, uh, I did them with microchip picks, if I remember right. Um, if we want to do them with Arduinos or something like that, let me know down below. In fact, if you could link the video that you would like kind of like revamped in the new format uh would be kind of cool that would be kind of fun to do that so moving on oh of course there's me that that's the that's the video right there uh you can enter the test so there's still a few minutes while you're watching this actually not while you're watching this take that back i can't i keep forgetting i was throwing around the idea if i was going to do this live or not and so i was thinking about doing it live so no the, the by the time you see this the contest will be over uh, another person making a magic mirror they had their first uh venture into the wonderful world of pi made a picture frame that you can use as a monitor to upload photos to what a novel idea so basically built uh those little smart picture frames you ever seen those and they you know roll through pictures that actually came out really nice good job buddy that's actually that's actually pretty darn nice anyway thought that was quite cool thought it was worth uh posting this was one that i thought was kind of cool uh he built a ruggedized uh raspberry pi let's get a look at this thing let's let's make this huge Look at this thing. This thing's crazy. So it's got the screen. It's got some toggle switches. Looks like it's got like Amphenol connectors. Like it looks like mil spec uh, Amphenol connectors. Look at the USB. The USB is like in these like waterproof uh, deals. That's just crazy. And then he's got you know basically like a Pelican case is what that looks like. Now, ruggedized against the elements or ruggedized against like beating it around. Hmm. Because you know you can you can ruggedize things or make them waterproof and basically element proof where you can leave them outside and you know water's not going to get to them or anything like that. But ruggedized against shock. Now that's a whole nother deal. When I used to be uh, in the industry and doing uh, shock and vibe and stuff like that, it's amazing uh, what kind of uh, you know 
like shaking and stuff that happens inside aircrafts or even a car or anything like that can, can literally destroy electronics. Like you can literally shear uh, parts off the board. I've seen electrolytic capacitors wiggle back and forth and literally just break straight off the board uh, during a vibe test. It's pretty amazing. So makes you wonder if you could take that thing and beat the crud out of it on the ground, if it would survive, makes you wonder. So good on you making a ruggedized, more or less waterproof. Uh, container for it and then we have someone else making a poor man smart mirror this one's kind of cool to check out he basically just used a regular old monitor and i guess cut the plastic to fit but it says that he made it for 20 bucks so good on you 20 dollar 20 dollar magic mirror all right and then we have a oh bluetooth light module this actually looked kind of interesting it's a very 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 tiny uh bluetooth module excuse me i may have to sneeze my hay fever has been going nuts. I don't know if you guys have that problem, but during this time of the year, oh my gosh, I could just, I could go into a sneezing fit. I'm going to try not to, try not to. But in any case, this thing looked really cool. Oh, here it comes. It's coming. <clears throat> okay, so sorry about that. So basically he's making a little uh, BLE, which those of, the, those of you that may not know, BLE is Bluetooth Low Energy. I was thinking of doing that on the channel. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see some low energy uh, stuff. What it is is basically using Bluetooth where you actually kind of like put it to sleep and it'll go into like literally like micro power mode to where it hardly uses anything until it, uh, it, it activates and does its thing. So in any case, looks pretty cool. All right, moving on. I thought this was an awesome way of making a dull thing drawers into something cool. So I don't know if you can see that. Let me get this bigger. This guy made it where it's like a touch sensitive uh, drawer here. I'll replay it where you basically just touch it. Boop. And then it automatically actuates the drawer and sends it out. It looks like there's some gearing on the sides. So I'm guessing he's got some sort of a little motor or something, maybe one with a rotary encoder. So that way that little bit of motion, when he pushes it in, you know, trips the encoder. So that way it, it knows that you're pushing on the drawer, you want it to come in. And then when it rolls back out, you push it again and it, it you know, trips that encoder. Could be how he's, how he's getting that going. But in either case, that's a fun way of making something fairly dull, just a regular drawer into something kind of cool. Ah, there's the cloud testing. And I think that is about it. Yep. Because that was the Week before last Maker Monday, uh, starting there. So, guys, I told you this one was going to be fairly quick. Definitely make sure I want to remind you to definitely uh, post uh, stuff to the Reddit channel. Um, link is down in the description if you want it featured here on Maker Monday. But we're going to go ahead and get into the giveaway. Ah, oh, yes. Let me get my random selector. So, I've got the video pasted in right here. And there's not many, uh, not many comments not many comments, so you guys have a real good chance of winning something. So here we go. The first winner is, and I hope that they're watching. I hope they watch this. The first winner is. I love how it like gives you the anticipation. Is Schmitty. The first winner is Schmitty. Now I'm gonna write this down because I have to, I have a terrible. I have, I have a terrible way of not uh, writing this down and then I don't remember. So Schmitty is the first winner, which means you have just won the Zemi Smart Zigbee Smart Light Dimmer from our pals over at Zemi Smart. So good on you. I will put that over here and we'll make a note of that as well, that Schmitty is the winner of the dimmer. All right, now moving on to the Zigbee uh down light so we've got the down light those of you who have watched that video uh here's here it is so you know that it works at least right you know that it works so let's pick that winner shall we so let's pick another winner and the next person is gonna be who's it gonna be it's gonna be duncan ramsbottom ha <laughs> ha does somebody does somebody watch despicable me does somebody watch despicable me oh, own up own up comments Despicable me. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. That is awesome. All right. So we've got our two winners. We've got Duncan Ramsbottom and Schmitty that have won our two different things sponsored by our good pals at Zemi Smart. And so with that, I need you guys to send me either your email or something like that. My email is going to be Mitch, M-I-T-C-H dot Sperry, S-P-E-R. 
A-R-R-Y at gmail.com. You send that in. Let me know your shipping information. That way I can give you your different devices that you have won. So guys, thank you so very, very much for watching. And uh, we'll do a tool of the day uh, next Monday because I wanted to be able to do the giveaway today. So we'll, we'll feature a tool of the day next week. So make sure and put your projects in on the Reddit page. So that way you can get your stuff featured on next week's video, as well as stay tuned because I've got more contests coming. I've got more sponsors and more things that are gonna be coming. So we got some really cool videos coming up. So definitely stay tuned if you haven't subscribed yet. Yet, hit that subscribe button and make sure you ring the bell so that way you don't miss any of the content as well as follow me on all the different social medias the i got a twitter and instructables and facebook and all those different places to make sure you don't miss out on anything that's coming up especially especially the contest t-shirts we've got t-shirts if you want some pure friggin magic t-shirts or any of the engineered line that we got going those have been really successful. Everybody likes those. So definitely check those out down below because that helps out the channel as well as helps you sport some wonderful engineering paraphernalia, right? So hopefully you guys check that out and become a patron. Check out the Patreon page. That helps out the channel uh, again with uh, giving away giveaways because every dime that comes into the channel, I put right back to you guys. All right, so thanks again and we will see you next time.